हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू द यूट्यूब चैनल मिश्र नेट फिजिक्स एग्जाम एंड गाइस इन टुडेज वीडियो आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट पॉइंट व्हिच इज लाइक हाउ यू कैन प्रिपेयर सॉलिड स्टेट फिजिक्स वेरी इजीली एंड जस्ट इन वेरी लेस टाइम सो हियर आई एम गोइंग टू प्रोवाइड यू द इन्फॉर्मेशन रिलेटेड टू द पॉइंट्स विच विल श्योरली हेल्प यू टू प्रिपेयर the most important and the most expected topics of solid state physics in very less time so what are these points which you should keep in mind when you are preparing the solid state physics let's start the discussion about all those points but before starting the discussion guys if you are new on this channel that is mission at physics exam you can subscribe this channel by clicking on the subscribe button below this video also you can share the videos uh, which i have provided you on this channel or this particular video with your friends as well those who are preparing for the csi or net physics exam because all these videos will help them as well to prepare very well also if somebody is preparing for the gate physics exam or any other similar exam these videos will be helpful for them now let's quickly start the discussion so guys if we are going to talk about this thing that how to prepare solid state physics or the first question which arises most of the times students are going to ask that if we are not preparing a uh, solid state physics or any other subject they can say then is it okay will be able to do good like in the exam will be able to clear the exam guys the point is this thing will completely be dependent on type of question paper you will have okay now to be in the safe side okay or uh, just to just get sure that you will get the good marks from your side what you can do you can uh, prepare all the subjects you are having in your official syllabus for the exam because in this way from any subject if you are getting some easy question some difficult question or just mix okay the easy and the difficult ones at least you will be familiar with some of the points which you have prepared and you will be able to solve the related questions so in this way you will be like in a safe zone done so the best thing is that you should go for all the subjects and don't leave even a single subject completely it's not going to be good done now the point is sometimes there are going to be subjects with somebody finds difficult there are going to be another subjects like with somebody else find difficult okay for one and the other students it can be different situation as per the subjects okay now if you have not prepared solid state physics yet or if you are just thinking or you are just going to start to prepare this subject i hope this video is going to help you a lot now guys what you can do first of all you can consider it in this way that start preparing the sections okay or make the sections how you can make the sections how you need to consider the points in each and every section and what type of sections i am asking you to make see guys the first one can be related to a particular topic in solid state physics or condensed matter physics we are having like the crystal structure okay so when we are talking about the crystal structure in that particular topic it's not just crystal structure what is crystal structure and that's it done no there are many points in it what are these points let's talk about them like you can expect the question from the crystal structure part related to different type of lattices okay different different type of lattices so the first point you have got to know okay there are going to be different type of lattices in any uh crystal system when we are going to consider 2d crystal system 3d crystal systems how many different type of crystals will be there so one thing you have considered a portion a section that is crystal systems or crystal structures done so one question you can expect related to lattices after considering lattice there is another point like the properties in the lattices if there is going to be a particular type of a uh, crystal like the cubic okay the uh, you can consider monoclinic triclinic like that there are different different type of crystals how many previous lattices you are having corresponding to them and also start by uh, knowing about the basic terms which are getting repeat at places okay in a particular chapter so know about their meaning know that what they exactly mean why when we are saying this particular word what we exactly mean by this word 
done once this thing will be clear to you it will become easy for you to understand each and everything step by step so few points i'm telling you right now here that's how you can make the sections you can make the particular portion for a particular chapter itself and you can consider that okay this type of question i can expect from here you can make a good command on those points first so let us related to the properties of lattice you can expect the question second thing related to diffraction part if we are going to talk about the diffraction there are different type of diffractions we study x ray diffraction electron diffraction neutron diffraction bragg's law in it done so bragg's law is very important if i'm going to talk about the next point that's going to be related to after considering the diffraction part you also need to know about the atomic form factor okay and the geometric structure factor so atomic form factor and geometric structure factor clear so now from the geometric structure factor even we had the questions in the previous years in csir net physics exam so this thing can provide you an idea that okay when i'm starting this particular topic i need to go through these points and i need to check that what i mean by geometric structure factor what will be the values of geometric structure factor for a particular type of uh, crystal okay or a type of lattice so if you are considering simple cubic fcc bcc okay corresponding to them you can start considering the values you are getting for the geometrical structure factor or the atomic form factor if i am going to talk about the next point okay in the crystal structure itself you will have the reciprocal lattice now corresponding to reciprocal lattice guys you can expect like the question that for a one type of lattice what will be its reciprocal lattice okay the things are quite simple and easy just you have to devote little bit time and you will be able to know about all the points easily then bragg's law in reciprocal lattice and in general both done then you are going to have brillian jones related problems clear then you are going to have even one more point based question you can expect from this part that is related to selection rule when we are going to talk about the diffraction topic we are even having the selection rules selection rules related to this thing that if you are going to have a diffraction you are observing in simple cubic case for what values of hkl hkl l is basically the miller indices here done so when you will start in this way by making it like a sequence or just if you are preparing from a particular book you will have all these topics there one by one you can consider them and you can get your final answer done so bragg's law brillian jones and the boundaries of brillian jones related to brillian jones what type of questions you can expect then they related to dispersion relation you can expect the question clear now this is related to crystal structures we have noted down most important and the main points even there are few more the sub topics you can say like the interplanar spacing okay selection rules we have already talked about it clear the miller indices okay there are going to be different different structures like nacl kcl okay diamond cubic hcp okay hexagonal closed packed structures so once just cover up all the portion keep it aside like you know them and now it's done second topic you can consider as the most important topic that is superconductivity okay from the superconductivity part we get the questions most of the times in the exam so yeah you can prepare it easily just know about some of the properties of superconductors know about the effect you are having there in the superconductor to, uh, superconductivity topic okay the formulae related to coherence length okay uh, related to the london penetration depth that is lambda its formula is there okay how they are related to fluxoid clear so related to all these things because superconductivity is not a huge topic just limited number of formulae are there so you can even easily prepare it okay if i'm going to talk about the second section okay so that will be superconductivity and it's very important clear so just cover up this topic within 2 hours easily you can do it very well you can do it okay even in less than 2 hours the third one you can consider as lattice vibration okay in the lattice vibration topic you are going to have the optical mode and the acoustical modes 
okay so let us vibration related to that even you will have the optical and the acoustical modes of vibration okay now in that there will be some dispersion relations there will be the formula for the group velocity and the phase velocity how they are related to each other okay so few more very very important points and the very much expected topics okay related to which you can say like ah yeah there are great chances we can expect the question based on it in our upcoming exam so initially try to cover up that portion in such a way as we are discussing it right now along with that if i'm going to talk about few more points so for me energy for me velocity okay now related to these for me expressions which we are having the formula related to this topic they are very important or if you are going to make the next category it can be related to semiconductors semiconductor is a topic which is even in electronics and in solid state physics both so related to semiconductors question based based on hall coefficient or some general formula based questions okay based on conductivity so like related to different uh, uh type of systems okay like you are going to consider uh different type of semiconductors and all so they are related formula you can expect so one thing i have given you example that is hall coefficient clear similarly the other do based on the type of doping present okay uh intrinsic case extrinsic case and all clear so that's how you can get and expect the questions based on it after that if i am going to consider the another one the formula related to debate temperature einstein's temperature okay and uh, the general formula which we are going to have or one question from density of states okay that's again very important so you can expect that one too i'm just initially try to cover up the major portion make such type of sections and if you are not sure about the topics which you should prepare what are going to be the important ones you can analyze or go through the previous year questions once to get a clear idea about the topics based on which there are great chances you can expect the questions i hope in this way when you will do and once you are going to make a list of topics in a particular chapter you are having these this this topic so just complete it target make the targets that okay i'm just going to complete it within this much duration okay if you are making a target of 2 hours or 1 hour for any uh, number of topics just try to cover it up you don't need to read like the complete chapter you just need to go through the points which will help you to solve the numericals because right now you are targeting for your main exam done so accordingly you will prepare because you are having less time to so in that much time you need to manage everything clear so in this way make the list make the sections on one single page even you can do the partitions like this if this is a4 size sheet just do the partitions like this okay if you are planning that okay at least six most important topics i will cover up from this particular subject or even it can be more than that it can be nine topics so if you are considering nine topics make the partitions in such a way note down first topic note down its sub topics which you are going to prepare second one note down its sub topics here all the sub topics third one note down its sub topics so that you will have everything in a systematic manner you will just do if you are just doing like this you are starting you are trying to cover up the portion okay and you are not having any uh, let's say record regarding that that what you will prepare what are the topics you need to prepare from where there are great chances that you can expect the questions and one more thing you can do let's say you are going through the previous year questions or you are having the formula which you need to use to solve those previous year questions okay you can do one thing you can start writing the formula not only on one single page because it may not be possible to write all of them there okay you need to write them well so write them on different pages but note down the formula and start revising them along with preparing the topics one more thing i would like to include in this portion that is effective mass based questions have been asked so many times so yeah when you will observe the previous year questions you will get the idea that okay this is even something i need to prepare it is having the great chances okay to be there in the upcoming exam so if you are thinking okay even if i am doing it in this way will it be okay will it be good so guys at least you are doing something you are doing like well uh, and there is just one thing which can provide you the good and the great idea uh, for doing the preparation for any of the subjects that is previous year questions okay 
and when you are doing it after observing the previous year questions you are on the right track just believe in yourself start taking your steps towards the preparation okay with full confidence start preparing the topics because if you are just keep on thinking about it is it okay will it help will it be uh, gonna good will i expect the questions you're just spending your time in thinking but when you are preparing it's gonna be good okay you will get some points you will be able to use those points in solving the questions in the exam and it's always going to be good so guys i hope this information will help you and in this way when you are going to start doing your preparation you will surely be able to do well and it just takes even if you want to complete any subject okay um just exam oriented preparation if you need to do guys two three days if you will devote for a subject you can do well so even if somebody is starting the preparation right now great chances are there you will be able to do it very well you will be able to score good marks so guys i hope that the information the points i have shared with you in today's session will be helpful for all of you and thank you so much for watching this video till the end also guys if you want to attend the more regular live classes by all the top educators we are having on unacademy plus for your upcoming exam preparation then you can take the unacademy plus subscription because on unacademy plus there are so many new unacademy plus courses which will start soon and many courses are already going on even if you will take the subscription now you will get the recordings of the sessions you have missed in any of the courses which have already been conducted so that's how you will be able to cover up all the portion okay and yeah you will get the guidance by all the top educators after taking the subscription you will be able to attend more regular live classes so that will be helpful for you to prepare very well also whenever you are going to take the subscription you can use and apply the referral code that is anjali arora as it is mentioned here write it apply it and get the 10% discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount okay so you just need to write it as it is no space in between spelling should be same that's how you need to write it and apply it to get the 10% discount in the total unacademy plus subscription amount and guys you all can do it you all can uh, score good marks you just need to work in a systematic manner you just need to work with a proper planning and if you will do it it will be possible for you to achieve uh like good marks to get good marks and to just even maintain good rank too clear so believe in yourself that you can do it so thank you so much everyone for watching this video till the end if you are new on this channel you can subscribe this channel you can click on the bell icon to get the notifications for the new videos i will provide you on this channel okay so thank you so much everyone for uh, watching this video till the end thank you